What goes through your mind when you see this question? Relax, give me one minute and I'll show you that fractional powers actually make sense. Hey, this is Michael, your go-to math buddy. From what I've observed from a lot of students, they tend to make this mistake of multiplying the coefficient, which is 27, by the power. Like, bro, what you doing? This is not fraction of an amount. But instead, what you have to do is, you need to focus on the denominator of the power, which is 3. Since we know that the denominator of the power is 3, we need to focus on making the coefficient, in this case 27, to be something to the power of 3. Later on, you can use one of the rules and in indices. Okay, so in this case, 27 is actually 3 to the power of 3. So, we have 3 to the power of 3, and this is x to the power of 6, and we have an outer power of 1 over 3. Once you've got this, it's pretty simple. We know that this power belongs to both of the 3 to the power of 3 and x to the power of 6. I'm going to put it as 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 1 over 3 and x to the power of 6 to the power of 1 of 3. Now, according to one of the rules of indices, if you have an inner power and an outer power, you must multiply them. So 3 times a third, that gives you, in this case, it becomes 1, so therefore that's just 3 to the power of 1, which is 3. 6 times a third, that gives you 2, so that becomes x to the power of 2. So that's how you do this question. Want more of these light bulb moments? Learn with us at any point.